Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to execute trades directly off the chart using the TradingView mobile app. Now, right now we're looking at the Micro E-mini S&P 500, an exchange traded futures contract that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And one thing that I want to point out that's very important to understand, once you start executing trades within the TradingView mobile app for the very first time, order confirmations are enabled by default. So what happens is when you go to place a trade, you'll see an order ticket populate for you to review the information of the order before you actually submit the order. Let me show you real quick what that looks like. So for example, on the top left corner of the chart, you'll see the bid and the offer price, which is 55.83 and a quarter by 55.83 and a half. Those are essentially your buy and sell market buttons. So if I were to place a buy market button by simply clicking the blue button at the top of the chart, this is the order confirmation that I'm referring to. It's essentially an order ticket it's just going to allow you to see exactly what you're about to do. And then you actually have to place the buy or hit the buy market button at the bottom to execute the trade. So additionally, it's, it's essentially additional, an additional step before placing the actual order. If you want to disable the order confirmations on the bottom right corner where you see where it says menu, right above it, there's a little button with three dots. If we click it and we go down to chart settings, you can activate instant orders placement by checking at the top there. So now when we actually execute the trade, you're not going to have that additional order ticket populate. So it's, let's go ahead and demonstrate how to place those simple market orders. Once you activate instant order placement as well, you'll also notice that the order quantity is now visible between the buy and sell market buttons, which is where you see that numerical one. If I click that little one, this allows me to change the order quantity. Now I can click the buy market button and notice now that order ticket doesn't populate. And now you can see I'm actually in the position. So right now, you can see that I got filled at 55.83, which is represented on the price axis. You can see the blue box, which is letting us know we're long for 55.83. And you'll see the last trade price will bounce around between green and red. The color representation represents the last movement. So red was the last tick down. And if it's green, that means the last tick was an up uptick. You'll also see the open position display as well, which will show you a dollar value of how much you're making on the trade. So right now, we're making 5 bucks. You'll see it's a blue box, which lets, it, lets you know that it's a long position. And also to the left of it, the order quantity or position quantity. So in this case, we're long one contract. Now here's me placing the sell market button by simply clicking the sell button market button on the top left corner of the chart, which is the red button. Sold it back at 55.83 and a half, and now we no longer have a position. All right, so that's how you place simple market orders directly off the chart. Now, if you want to place pending orders, for example, limit orders and stop orders, what you're going to need to do is first sp pick a specific desired price by clicking it with your finger on the actual chart itself. So I'm just going to click anywhere on the chart below the current market price. Let's just say, for example, at 55.80 even. So once you click on a specific desired price level on the chart, you'll know that it's selected because it shows a black price that's highlighting that desired price. And you'll also see a little plus sign to the left of it as well. Now I can click this little plus sign. And this is going to only show me the available order types that I can place based on the specific price level that I selected. So right now, market's trading at 55.83. We selected 55.80, which is a price level below the last trade price. As a futures trader, you should always have an understanding that only certain order types can go only go on certain sides of the market. So for example, if we're placing an order below the last trade price, the only order type that can be placed would be a buy limit, a sell stop, and sell stop limit, which is exactly what you see right now in the context menu. So here's an example if I were to place a specific price level above the last trade price. Notice now I can only place a sell limit, a buy stop, and buy stop limit. So this is what we call an auto detect function, which I like because it's going to help prevent you from making the mistake of placing the incorrect order type on the wrong side of the market, which can get you into a position prematurely or even worse, prematurely close out in open position. Now at this point, just simply choose the desired order type that you wish to place. So let's just say we want to place a buy stop for one contract on the micro S&P 500 at 5584.75 on a stop. So we're going to go ahead and choose that specific order type within the context menu. And now you can see the order is actually working. So let me actually just move the chart down just a tad bit. So you can see it. So now that you have the working order working on the chart, you can see the working order display. So again, it's going to be a blue box, blue line, which represents a buy transaction. You can also see the order type STP, which represents stop. And you can also see to the left of it, the order quantity as well for one. The X will allow you to cancel out the order just by simply clicking the X. So I'm going to go and do that right now. Now you can see the order has been canceled out. 
All right, let's do one more example. Let's do this time a buy limit below the current market price. So we're gonna select a price, a price by clicking on the chart below the current market price, 55.78 and a quarter. We're gonna click the little plus sign, and then we're gonna choose, let's say for example, buy limit. All right, now you can see the order is working. Now this time it says LMT, which represents a limit order instead of a stop order. Now to modify the order, what you need to do first is activate the modification state. So how you do that is just simply click on the working order display until you see it say TPSL. TPSL is what we call take profit and stop loss. We've already created another video for bracket orders, so just be sure to watch that particular video if you want to have a better understanding of how to ex uh, execute bracket orders using TradingView mobile app. But once you see the TPSL, now you have the ability to modify the order. Now, if you want to deactivate the modification state, all you need to do is click anywhere outside of the working order display on the chart. Notice the TP and SL go away. Here's me clicking it again. Now it reappears. Now I can take the limit order by simply taking my finger on the working order display and just simply drag on the actual working order display and just release it to the new modified price. Okay, now you can see there's a confirmation letting you know the order has been modified to 5576.75. So again, to modify the order, you have to activate the modification state by clicking on the working order display, wait for the TPSL to be displayed, and simply drag and drop with your finger on the working order display in order for you to modify the order. Release once you're content with this new price that you wish to modify to, and now the order has been modified. To cancel out the order, we're going to click the X, and now the order has been canceled. And then last but not least, I'm going to get into a short position here. We just sold one at 55.83. You can see the short position on the chart itself. And you can also close out the position as well by clicking that X on the open position display, the same exact method as far as canceling working orders as well. So here's an example if I add on to the position. Now we're short two. Let's add one more. Now we're short three. So essentially that X on the open position display is your flatten button. So if I click that X, now it bought three contracts back at 55.83 and a half. And this is how you execute trades directly off the chart using the TradingView mobile app.